Now what we're going to show you how to do is cast a little dancer in a leotard. It may come as a surprise to you to find out that not everybody is going to want to be cast nude. And a, casting people in leotards is a very standard way of doing it. Also in bathing suits. Uh, any number of other types of material will work as well, or any of the other types of outfits. But a leotard, say, is something that will happen very commonly. You want to pick the right le leotard. You don't want one that's fuzzy. If it feels like t-shirt material, for example, it's too fuzzy. You want something that, that feels like spandex. It's very smooth because it'll be less likely to stick to the alginate. I guess I should rephrase that. The alginate doesn't really stick to it, but it tangles in any fuzz that's on it. And the smoother it is with the finer weave, the more perfectly it'll come out of the mold without tearing the mold. We'll use some cooking oil, just plain everyday corn oil, to make sure that it doesn't stick to the mold as well as we can. Now besides having a, a suitable leotard, we need a suitable dancer. And we have Alyssa here, has volunteered to come in and be cast today. And you'll notice that on this particular leotard, there's some gathers. Now go ahead and tie those up. If, if you have somebody who is old enough that they're starting to, to grow up, you'll want the leotard with the gathers because when she ties that, it'll, it'll conform around her breast much better than if you don't have the, the gathers. Well, we want to take the same couple of measurements to make sure that the mold doesn't expose just as we did for the, for the other casting. So what I'll do is measure across her hips and then mark these on a piece of paper and then measure across the next widest part, which in this case happens to be the outside of her breast, and mark that on a piece of paper. And then I know how wide she is so I can tell as we did before. At this point, what we'll want to do is have the model get up on the board again and we're going to compose her and come up with a with a pose we like. Now go ahead and lean back. Now you'll find that dancers bodies are so straight that they don't need anything behind their head in most cases. Uh, however in order to bring the body forward we're, we're going to still put a rubber or a sponge pad behind her. Okay. And this will bring her chest out, because remember, her hips stick out behind her back a little further than her back does. Now, what do you think you ought to do with your arms, sweetheart? Okay, just hold them like that, with your legs like that. We could try to do a much more complicated pose, for example, in an arabesque. It's very difficult for someone to hold it. So, generally, what you want to do is come up with a pose, of course, that's very comfortable for the model. So if this is what she wants to do, she's got her arms down, she can hold those, and we'll want you to turn your head so we can get the sterno, plied oil, mastoid muscle as well. And we can put something behind her head now to bring it out. Let's see if we need to do that. Is that any better? Okay. All right. Uh, now go ahead and step off the board. Now, Lauren, you can put that box down. I don't need it. We want to put the, the cloth, the cheesecloth, over the foam pads again. Okay, now would you stand back up there, Elisa, and we'll see if it's still in position. Lean back again. On a small body like this, seven pounds of water is going to be plenty. So seven pounds, which is 3,178 grams, and then at five ounces per pound of fiber gel, 35 ounces or 990 grams. Now that's probably more than we need, but I'd rather have a little extra than be short in the middle of the casting. Now there's almost nothing left that we have to do to get her ready. You wanna go ahead and put that on? Alyssa? Now, I know this is real stylish, but it does keep it out of her hair. And any little bit of hair that is sticking down, because we want to get as much of her neck as we can, we use this moldies to keep it from tangling in the hair. Little, little tiny, tiny bits. Because it'll be running down. The only other prep now 
that we need to do is to get the oil on her leotard. Now, if we really like the person, we'll put the oil in the microwave for a moment and, and warm it up. However, we didn't do that this time, but we're going to go ahead and spray her with oil. And you want to soak the leotard. Just plain cooking oil, corn oil, works very well. Do not use olive oil. It doesn't work. Just because it's more expensive doesn't make it better. Just plain generic corn oil works just fine. You want to grab a paper towel? Is it cold? Okay, let me get it between your legs here a little bit. Open your legs up just a little bit. There we go. Now remember, we don't want it on the skin because if you leave it on the skin, it'll keep the alginate from clinging to the skin as well as we'd like it to. So we want to wipe off all of it on the skin. Go ahead and get it all off. We do want to put it on the lower part of her leg so that any plaster will not stick to it. This is looking very good. Remember, you have about five minutes with 80 degree water from the time you start mixing before it'll set up. Now, with this at this point, we want to mist her with algae slow. This will keep the surface soft just a little bit longer for several minutes, even after it sets up, allowing us ample time to get the fuzz into it. A little bit of a thin spot here, which I can go ahead and add a little to. Does it look like everywhere? Now we start applying the cotton, and remember, same thing, outside in, always do the outside, do not go down the front, always do the outside in. Now while Lauren tweaks that, I will go ahead and start mixing some plaster. It should be about the consistency of half and half a little thinner than you would normally mix plaster. Now remember, the first coat is just to soak down through the cotton. Move forward a little bit. Have your, your assistant here hold no, hold this so it doesn't fall off of her. You're going to have to stand in front of her. No, you're going to have to stand in front of her. That's all we can do here. Don't let it fall. Now, we snip the leotard loose. And this doesn't seem to, to embarrass anybody. But if, the, if somebody is very uptight about this, you can always have the mom cut the, the leotard loose. Just cut it up the back side. Now I'm going to, she's going to move back just an inch or so so that she's not exposed. Is it sticking anywhere? There we go. Now give her the towel and just wrap it around yourself. All the way around. Okay? And see, you can get somebody out without embarrassing them at all. And it looks 
very, very good. You can see the leotard is stuck in the inside of it, but I'm going to take it out in just a moment. You can take a sharp box cutter, one with a nice new blade, and trim off what's the excess, and very gently start removing the leotard from the mold. Now you'll notice how some came down between her breasts, and we'll cut that off. After you've done a few of these, you get so you can look at these from the inside out and you'll know whether or not you've got a really good casting. It's a little bit like looking in an x-ray, I think. Until you've looked at a few from the inside out, that doesn't always make a lot of sense. But when you've done a few, it will. And this one looks very good. Very carefully where the cloth is bunched up here at the gathers.